This video is a guide to the proper installation of your holster gator. So let's head on over to my truck and I'll walk you through each one of those steps. So the only tool you'll need for this job is a Phillips head screwdriver. First you'll want to take your holster gator out of the package and place it off to the side and inside you'll find an installation packet. Inside this packet you'll find our business card that has a QR code on it. Go ahead and scan this white QR code with your phone's camera and it'll bring you to our website where you can find videos on installation. Next we have a die cut piece of 3M VHB tape as well as a crush tube of 3M's Primer 94. We also have two packets of alcohol pads. We'll be using these to clean the surfaces we're mounting our holster gear to. And lastly, three number six pan head screws. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your holster gator and hold it up to the surface you plan on mounting it to. This will give you a good idea of how and where you're going to be mounting it. Then we're going to take our first alcohol cleaning pad and clean that surface entirely. You want to remove all the dirt, grease, and oils, and any other debris that's going to create a problem with the tape bonding to the surface. If you use Armor All, make sure you pre-clean that surface first before using the alcohol pad. Next, we're going to take our second alcohol cleaning pad and clean the back of the holster gator. All of these surfaces need to be squeaky clean in order for this tape to work. Next, we're going to take that crush tube of 3M's Primer 94, squeeze on the little black dot and you'll hear a crush. This is the primer being released into the tube. You're going to use that felt tip to spread that primer all over the surface that you're mounting it to as well as the back of the holster gator. This will set up all surfaces to accept 3M VHB tape. Next, you'll notice I have a little small screwdriver in my hand. I use this to remove the red backing of the double-sided tape. I'm going to remove that and hold it up to the holster gator and then press it on. I'm using my thumbs here to make sure that there's firm, steady pressure across the entire surface of that tape. You want to work out any air bubbles and make sure every inch of that tape is stuck to the back of the holster gator. Next, I'm going to remove the white backing and place it on the area I chose to mount it to. You'll notice that I'm using very firm, steady pressure, and I'm going to hold that pressure for about two minutes. I want to make sure this entire surface area of the tape is stuck to that surface. There cannot be any gaps whatsoever. Next, we're going to let it sit for a full day. Do not touch it for a day, and the next day I come back and I'm going to install the three number six pan head screws inside the screw holes. Now these screws are very small, so if you're worried about a gaping hole in your mounting surface, it's really a non-issue for me, but if it's an issue for you, you don't really need to use them. But if you don't want to use them, you have to make sure the surface you're mounting it to is very, very clean. If it is not clean, the tape will fail. We're going to tighten those screws down. Do not over tighten them. They just need to be snugged up a little bit. And then I'm going to test fit my holster. You'll notice that the holster slides on nice and smooth. And I'm going to give it a good tug, and you can see that it's very, very secure. Now, if you have any questions, please contact us, and we'll get back to you. Thank you.